you need to have a business plan for the sake of the team you're going to work, to work with and anyone who might be involved. These include banks, investors, uh, people are going to give you grants, uh, so even for yourself and people you want to approach to give you the initial capital to start. So a business plan is a good way of clarifying your ideas and making sure that you have covered the key areas of your social enterprise or of your business. It's, it helps you to be able to list down every single aspect from market research, financial propositions, uh, the team you're going to work with, the location, the initial capital, uh, infrastructure you're going to use, projections, how much you're going to or how you're going to grow. So a basic easy business plan and hopefully in future we'll do a whole separate video for this one should have the organization that is your mission your vision your values the structure your history the governance the other thing uh, a business plan should include is a strategy your overall objectives or goals and what you think the key success factors are what is your unique selling propositions your business plan needs to have product services and activities it needs to have market research and approach social impact especially now that you're doing a social enter, uh, enterprise of staffing uh, management systems are going to use and processes sales and marketing plans all those are operation operational issues that should be covered in your business plan you should also have financials which show your current status and a forecast or a budget for the year ahead or two years ahead or one year ahead and when you grow uh, into a big business you'll find yourself even projecting for more than five years of course, there are different ways to do your business plan. You can Google, you can approach uh, people who are experts in the field. They can help you develop a plan that works well for you. But this is so much, a lot of hard work. When you start making money, when you start making profits, pay yourself and pay yourself well, okay? You're working. And as much as you want to help other people, you want to pay your staff first. Remember you're the brainchild and you cannot survive without money. I mean, you are not a robot. You need upkeep, you need expenses catered for, you need bills paid, you need a place to live, you need to wear nicely when you're going to meet investors. So you need to pay yourself well so that you can sustain your own personal brand. So in summary, you need to get clear on your mission, check the market, keep an eye on the money. Measure your social impact, find the right team. I don't know if I mentioned about finding the right team. So make sure you have a board of directors and don't, if you're into fashion, don't look for people in fashion only to be your board uh, of directors. Make sure you have diversity, look for even bankers, different perceptions of different fields incorporated so that you get more ideas and more ways to approach different problems that you encounter. Pick the, uh, the suitable legal structure for you, write a business plan, get networking on social media, attend events with your business cards, talk to people. They always say that your network is your network and that is something we will talk about in a different video also. Your network is your network. How does it relate? So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed listening and watching this. Please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And be sure to catch you next time. Goodbye.